But, All uh, right, so ads, I gotta ask. After what you saw in game one, what's your prediction coming into game two? My prediction is that, you know, TF2 is going to be the big winner here. We're going to see some high-level play. <laughs> TF2 esports, <laughs> baby. But, uh, yeah, definitely have to fancy Street Hoops for a, a comeback here. I want to see them, you know, just move beyond the fact that they had a, a close game there that they lost at, at the sort of last minute. Or right down to the wire there and say, you know, sure, we didn't win, but that was an incredible performance. We said we could come here and we could cause upsets. Um, we've demonstrated that we can in the first map. We're going to go forward onto Gullywash here. And we're going to bamboozle them. That's the plan, man. All about the main game, too. <laughs> Bamboozling them, but yeah. <laughs> I, uh, this is really where, you know, kind of you see your team come together. You know, when you have that 5-4, you know, those are kind of the worst losses because you, you can even look at individual moments where, like, you as one player made, like, a mistake that potentially cost the game. So, you know, this is where, really, they got to keep their heads in the game. This is where, kind of, you know, the whole land veteran thing comes into play. I mean, these guys have been here... They were here last time, and they are actually able to beat XTS and go the distance. So, you know, maybe they can kind of pull out that same magic this time around. So, they're, they're yeah. definitely going to need it on a map like Gullywash, where um, Bedonski and Rando are definitely going to be pulling their weight. Yeah, just actually thinking about that uh, land history, I think it was maybe Gully Wash where they managed to outdo them last time. I definitely remember Alpha sniping at times when he probably shouldn't have. Uh, but there is a lot of history between these two teams. As you said as well, you know, you've got Coz in there, you could be playing for both sides. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, uh, double agent, if you know what I mean. Yeah, he's just swindling all the hats, you know. It's uh, going to be five minutes, I'm told, by Truck Truck, who has a, a direct line to killing. Uh, so both teams probably taking that much-needed deep breath after such an intense game, like 5-4. Uh, this is where uh, Street Hoops is trying to ice Elevate, you know. Elevate pulls out the narrow victory, so like, alright boys, take a five-minute break. Put them in the deep freeze, uh, reset everything, you know. Yep, yep. Um, there's nobody really on site this year, or at least I'm, I'm a little bit unsure if we've got any media, any gossip coming in. I did see a, a nice selfie of Alpha there on Twitter before things got underway, but apart from that, I haven't seen much action, many photos, any uh, scandal. Any whispers from Lan? Have you heard anything blink? Mm, you did say nah, you just turned your PC on for the first time in a month. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've uh, I've been away from the sea basically as soon as the uh, regular season ended. But um, I, I suppose you know I do have a couple of contacts that I could message and whatnot. But uh, you know, we want to see the pictures. That's what uh what TF Twoers want. They want the gossiping tweets, the pictures of the gorgeous gamers, the neck beards and whatnot. I want to see uh, lots of pictures of Blaze. You know. Plenty of skin as well, you know, topless works for <laughs> me. Uh, that would be awesome as well. If you've just joined us here, wondering what the hell's going on, this is the Blaze fan club. We're all here to just marvel, probably at the entirety of Fru Tech, you know, the most handsome team in TF2, but they're not playing right now because they managed to drop two games in the main season. It is, in fact, Elevate versus Street Hoops, your number one versus your number four team from the main season, but... Uh, Elevate just about inching that first map, taking Snakewater five to four, in this the first of the round one upper bracket games of ESEA season seventeen land finals. I'm admirable. He's blank, and we got truck truck on the camera. But uh, there's going to be even more casters coming in over the next two days. I think Gex is going to be coming up to join us in a few hours' time when he gets back home. Then tomorrow is Bloodsire going to make an appearance? I I have no clue. Is uh, I believe I told you, Ads. Um, I <laughs> was texted yesterday by my good buddy, You Must Mike. He was like, "Hey, Enigma's asking if you can cast LAN." I was like, "Yeah, I can. I just have to actually hook up my computer, which I haven't done in a month." But uh, here I am. So I'm about as in the dark as you are. So you tell me you didn't take that entire month off to go and stalk a Bloodsire at ARL? Oh man, he is a uh, he's a rather gorgeous gamer, and he's got the accent. You know, that's why everybody loves blood. I'm not even going to try and do an impression, you know, I'm toying with the yeah, idea, you know. I thought I just... about it, but I'm like, nah. <laughs> we're not, we're not C-Bear, we can't pull it off. 
Oh, but yeah, this uh, so far, I'm impressed. I'm already losing my voice here. Uh, I decided to go for a run yesterday in the delightful temperate climate of Ireland, very wet and cold, and I might be I might be coming down with something, but it, it could actually be giving me a bit of Gex voice here. Maybe I go down a few octaves, do some baritone. But uh, uh, so let's keep this PG now, admirable. I mean, come on. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so second map, you know, uh, I want to 20 believe, I fully believe that Street Hoops have what it takes. Sure, they didn't take that first map, but uh, they've had a break and they get to choose the map. So, like, they're playing on their own terms here. This is the map they want to play. This is the map they believe that they can beat Elevate on, and I believe too. Are you going to stand against me, Blank? Oh, man. Predictions? I, I do... When games are close like this, I like to see them, you know, I'd like to see three out of threes in the best of threes, but, um... I, I'm gonna go against you here, Ed. I'm gonna be the bad guy, you know. I, I'm gonna predict that uh, Elevate pulls it out 5-3 here. I feel like, you know, they started finding their stride there towards the end of the second half, and Rando, with how well he was playing, and I feel like Bedonski just has a leg up on on Deadbolt. Like, if you go back to the mid-fights on Snakewater, almost all the time, um... Bedonski was slightly quicker than Deadbolt as well as he'd always land that initial sticky and put Deadbolt down to around 110 and Bedonski would still be like 170. So on a map like Gullywash where Devilman can more or less just win mid right at the start, um, you know. Dave, this is going to be a hard fought battle for 20B if you believe out there. Yeah, that's very true. Like if Bedonski is coming super fast and chooses to put pressure onto the enemy big door, like that means somebody has to... Uh, take that opportunity to rush him or sort of they just sort of capitulate on those mid fights but then that turns into the little mind games oh you know i'm gonna play aggressive you're gonna rush me i'm gonna kill you and uh that is when tf2 turns into the chess match on middle the most uh, incredibly violent and fast paced chess match you've ever seen but uh that's what i'm looking forward to seeing if only we had slow motion action replays Whoosh. just slow it down everybody becomes near I believe uh, on the stream as well, although I don't have it, uh, we've had some excellent team skins on display courtesy of Uberchain. I know the Supreme Commander is working to get those into uh, State of Spec, the amazing casting plugin as well. Uh, Dash and Dashner, various people putting in work in the lead up to LAN, uh, trying to get everything looking spick and span for you, so uh, I'd like to hear uh, some love in the Twitch chat for everybody working behind the scenes to uh, make this event happen for you guys and you know push the push the envelope a little bit. It's been a while since we've seen any team skins. Like uh, I'm thinking back to the XTV cast, the post produce ones of uh, days gone by, but we're doing it live here. We have the technology. We are TF2, uh, and uh, I'm impressed. Are you impressed? Like, have you got that, the that production open? quality? I've actually got it running on my phone, and uh, it's it's quite beautiful. This kind of yeah, this that was one of those things that got me into TF2 way back in the day when I watched like EXTV, you know, with X Time. It, it was uh, it happened to be Gully Wash was the first map I believe I recall. It was like Complexity versus EMG, and I believe he had the you know the skins as we kind of have going right now, and uh, I was like, whoa, this is freaking awesome. And the very fact that we can have that while actually, you know, the matches are happening live is, that's great. Yeah, I think we've got all sorts of little graphical touches as well. Uh, a few sponsor logos and stuff that we've seen uh, previewed at the various LAN events in the lead up to this, uh, GXL, etc. So, like, they're... I want to just, you know, make a pitch here for the great sponsoring potential of TFT. You don't see that in other games. And uh, it's not even the, the Valve are doing it, it's just these hardcore nerds. Uh, you know, I'm just uh, imagining the Supreme Commander would look something like Neo Man. He's uh, sitting there in his black trench coat, just <laughs> chewing up the source code of TF2, finding all these great ways to uh, improve the spectator experience. And like, uh, really, vanilla TF2 is is all well and good, but the 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 quality of cast and production, just to keep blowing our own horn here, man, tooting our own trumpet, whatever. Uh, it's continued to improve over the last year, like A52, etc. It was incredible. I'm just so proud to be here with you t today, like, I'm welling up a little bit. <laughs> oh, bringing a tear to my eye here. <laughs> it's like, uh, whoa, 
I see how many players on the server right now? Twelve. Ah. Well, we've got seven on one team, six, oh, five yeah. on the other. We could be getting underway pretty soon. See, I don't want to jinx it, it you know? It's as I said, Kozen, the hidden seventh man. It's, uh, yeah, you see that right there in the pregame, the Illuminati. This is it. We've got live here. Oh, I'm not going to get fooled by the, the, the three restarts or whatever the hell it is. But uh, the game will be getting underway momentarily. This is the second map of the best of three in this upper bracket round one game between Elevate and Street Hoops Esports. And it's Street Hoops who find themselves a map down. This is all or nothing for them here on Gully Wash. And on the first middle, Badonski's rolling out three choke. He's trying to put some pre-fired stickies onto the big door there. He's already killed Grapes buff. He's got Ash down to 130 as well. And like you said, that demo man so powerful on these mid fights. The soldiers jump in despite their low health. Ash is going to go down early. Mela kills off Grey as, as well. But uh, Ash did manage to kill off Alpha just there. It was a trade. But really, I mean, that middle was already so stacked. All they had to do was sit back and wait and see what Street Hoops wanted to do. They decided to go aggressive anyway, but the fight was, or the fight was already stacked against them there. Yep, so as I said, Vidonsky, you know, he's quick on those rollouts and he'll just destroy a big door. And, uh, you know, when both your soldiers show up to mid with a combined, like, you know, 270 health and your medic's like 80 health as well, that's, uh, it's never a good start. Yeah, I mean, it's this mistake I see a lot of people making, but if you're rolling out as Roamer there, you need to make sure you have 300 health before you come around that big door, because if you catch that first stick, you know, that's going to kill your crit heals, you're going to have no health when you're in the class that needs the most health to be effective in those mid fights. But uh, right now, Rando's leading forward here and gets popped really early. He's going to put pressure onto Ninja Nick. He milks it down onto 33 health. Now he's going to counter pop. Rando's running into Ash there at Big Door. Four players going down here on the elevated side as Street Hoops stream forward. They're looking for Badonski, but he's just hiding around at Choke there. He's thinking of moving in, but then decides to back out. Sizer senses something is up and moves forward, and Alpha's actually shown himself a sniper there. If Sizer was paying attention, he can relay that information to his team blank. Yeah, Alpha misses the body shot there on Big Door. Street Hoops are trying to push it, he misses another body shot. He's too low though, he's gonna have to swap. Yeah, he's going Sniper here on last. 20B is all over the second point here. Mela's up top. He is fighting the Roamer. Ash is gonna go down. This is gonna cue the Mela bomb, I feel like. Is he gonna hit the air shot? No, no air shots happening here. A lot of frags. Oh man, Street Hoops are just getting crushed over here. And uh, this is going to be a five-man wipe, it looks like. Ninja Nick, is he going to be able to make it out alive? He's trying to get out towards his big door. Scout on the chase. Nah, he's going to have Ash spawning. But uh, Mela getting the pick up top is... That was crucial in them coming... Or er, being able to retake their two. Oh, and there was, there was like a brief second there. I could just see it. Like the entire combo of Elevate was just clustered up on the balcony. And Decimate was... Or uh, Deadbolt was below them. Uh, trying to spam stickies up, but he just couldn't seem to find the damage, but it was the perfect oh opportunity for him yeah. to crush them. <laughs> Ninja next gone down to Badonski, what the hell happened there, Blake? Badonski just opened the door and whacked him with his Badong, and all of a sudden, <laughs> you know, Ninja Nick sizes her down, 100% uber advantage for Kozen. This is gonna be a... This should be the first round for Elevate, I mean... Maybe they had some hiccups pushing last on Snake Water, but uh, on a map like this, two picks, and it's a lot easier to get to point. We should see Elevate getting the round, though. We do see two quick frags happening. Oh no. Elevate, please. Alpha Sniper. Oh, the point. Decimate gets on the point, though. He's like, don't worry, guys. I'm a scout. I can just touch the point. Uh, Sizer again, an important pick on the Badonski there. Uh, looked like they could have held on, but he sort of ran forward. And they took their eyes off the point. It's going to be one round up for Elevate as they go to this second middle. Badonski coming through Big Door again, already with the pre-fire on the Ash. He was trying to go a little faster that time, but uh, both soldiers kind of weak here, not with the, the buffs that they'd be comfortable with. Uh, but neither of them decided to jump in immediately. Grape's going to jump up for some MGE action. Airshow on the Mela takes him down. Ash already died to Mela, but it's now uh, it's looking good for Street Hoops. It's a 4 on 4 in fact, but you see Alpha oh coming God. up from the Dongski. Oh, Alpha from the elbow as well comes in to clean up great, but for a second there, Street Hoops looked like they could be in contest of middle, maybe on the next middle they'll actually achieve it. 
Yeah, um, you know, the mid-fight looked even because Bedonsky didn't have, you know, he didn't hit three stickies on the soldiers really early. As Ash goes down, early pick there, that's actually really, really key. But uh, all of a sudden, when he chucks two pipes across the map and does about 300 damage, Alpha just walked in. He's like, oh, look at this. Like, easiest 3k of my life. <laughs> Indeed, uh, big uber vintage here and plenty of time to decide what to do for Kozen, he's already moving up with his combo, they're not going to hesitate, straight in here, uber being popped off, they've got soldiers both playing for the point here, but Deadbolt's trying to give them the run around, they knew he'd be playing there because of that uber advantage, and uh, they, they managed to kill him off, no stickies on the point, makes it very easy to cap, and that's exactly what they've done, a quick 2-0 here on Gully Wash. Maybe my prediction was uh, a little bit inaccurate, but I still 20 believe. Oh man, you've uh, you've got a lot of faith, Ads. Yeah, it must be that Irish, <laughs> you know, Catholicism. You're a man of religion, but uh, your Amen, faith brother. might be a little bit misplaced here. Uh, Paragon already really, really crushed. Street hoops all on the low ground here. Grape goes down. They just Bedonsky kind of controls this mid fight, and Elevate just have. You know, Street Hoop's number here. Ninja Nick, though, manages to stay alive, and he has Deadbolt and Sizer with him, so at the very least, they're gonna have an Uber here to hold last. Yeah, that is the one positive I would take away from that mid. Already, you see CP4 being capped there very quickly. They're gonna be moving forward, and again, I'm expecting the fast push. They didn't really let them set up their defense last time, but uh, this time, Ninja Nick does have that Uber in the tank. They're gonna do exactly the same thing again, it seems. Kozen encouraging his combo, all the heavies to go Riverside. And they're gonna bring in that four man Uber again. He's gonna flash it in Rando. Actually, Mail is just gonna walk and then gets the flash. They've committed a lot of players into this Ubered combo of street hooks, and they, the math doesn't work out there for me. They're gonna lose Rando and Mela. Did they forget that they had Uber? They're like, yeah, um, let's. Yeah, perhaps, you know, that Kozen. The hidden seventh man of street hoops. He's like, all right, I, I gotta make this game interesting. He was like, we killed Ninja Nick in mid, push. Then all of a sudden, his team's like, hey, why are they all invincible? And he's like, oh, sorry guys, my mistake. So uh, I definitely hats, heard him make the hats, uh, I'm uh, telling you, Ed. He made the sound of a dying giraffe, and, and you know, the play happened. I definitely think there is something going on wrong here, and uh, they have given up to. Uh, it's been reclaimed here by the blue team, the rightful owners. We're gonna see uh, the brown bear up top. He's clawing himself to build that uber charge. Ninja Nick building furiously here. It's pretty much neck and neck in terms of these uber advantages. Both teams will have charge and it looks like the play is gonna come from Choke and it's gonna be our Mela going in. It's a fake. It's not the actual uber push. The Mela's gone in, got his force on the Ninja Nick and you see Kozen here sitting rubbing his hands, they're actually going to rotate, they're not even going to go into the combo immediately with the switch up, they find the frag onto Ash at the flank and they've made it a 5 on 5 here but they have an ace up their sleeve, it's an uber charge, they're trying to just push great back, he can't take, take all those stickies, try as he might, he can't eat them all Paragon's coming in now with Ninja Nick from Choke but they're just trying to trade as best they can before they would surely die Paragon getting Bedonska there, Ninja Nick goes down, but Kozen went down as well to Paragon right at the start of that little re-push from behind, and that might be just enough to hold on here. Oh, Rando straight in finds Deadbolt, so the point is that uh, it's open. You're going to see Mela making that play, he's turning heads, Decimator runs in, realises that Grape is weak, going to be able to finish him off, but on the respawn I'm seeing Kozen go crits, but he hasn't got anyone to heal, so it's probably going to be equal. We do have the Alpha Sniper, but yeah, Elevates, you know, they're starting to feel the momentum and just rolling with it, getting really aggressive there, pushing that last. Uh, they were kind of lucky to trade the frags as they did, you know, they could have gone 2-3 down without getting anything, and they would have just lost second here, but, you know, Alpha on the Sniper outside. Are we going to see any off-classing from uh, Street Hoops? No, they just kind of seem content to hold the lower here, though. Decimate does go down, but two picks on the flank. Uh, that should cue the push out here. Where is the Alpha Cam? I'm gonna see where the uh, the sniper is. He's hiding up top. He mi hits the body shot. No, he gets the headshot on Paragon. That's both scouts down. You can't cap this. This is where Street Hoops needs to hightail it out of there, and they rightfully do so with all their spam classes. About to get Uber. The Bedonski crits, the crits, here come. Roller door opens, immediately Grape goes down, Ninja Nick doesn't have his charge yet, 95%, but there's nobody there to block the point in time, if only they'd built that a little bit faster, but I mean that's one of the the downsides of pushing, you're trying to buff people, you're not building at that optimal rate, and it ended up just being 
5% away from getting that charge, something that would have definitely allowed them to hold on to last there. So that will be 3-0 here in the first half to Elevate, coming out strong on the Gully Wash. We thought they'd been shaking on the first map, so, but apparently not, Blink. Nah, it's, as I said, the Bedongski show, but um, do you happen to know if this was Street Hoops' map pick? Yeah, yeah, it was. Ah, uh, to me that's like... I don't know, like, they should have looked at the demo department, I mean, it's like, Deadbolts, you know, he's had a solid season as demo, but, you know, you've got to, this is kind of like, they're taking Bedonsky on on his map, I feel like, they probably should have gotten to something like Process, in my opinion, but uh, Bedonsky really just flexing his demo muscle on this map and just controlling the pace of the game, as they said he would, um, I don't know, things are looking pretty grim, we're going to need to see some pretty wonky mid-fights coming out of, uh, Street hoops, you know, we might see the sniper big door. Maybe we'll see, you know, their combo go choke and go out drop down or something. Yeah, I see the team's readying up again. I mean, there are ways to play against that fast demo man rollout. Like, one of your scouts can try and distract them a little bit on the right there. Uh, you can even do some incredibly fast rumor rollouts if you're like shadow burn or something and try and get there really early. But these are all big gambles, and if Bonsi doesn't even choose to go there or plays defensive, you find yourself very much out of position. But this time, it seems like Street Hoops have just given up Big Door all together. The whole team rolled out through Choke there. Now comes in the double soldier bomb. It's a sledgehammer. Mail is in behind. Oh He's trying to find a frag there. But only Grape goes down through all, all that. And Deadbolt Street Hoops doing just... his best uh, Kobe impression there as he swings around with the 180 air <laughs> shot on him. But yeah, it looks like uh, they took my advice, Ads. I was like, Big Door, Bedonski just destroys you, so probably go choke. And uh, we do see the first mid-fight go in their favor with a huge mid-fight win and the huge Uber advantage. Yeah, incredible. Uh, if only they'd, it hadn't taken them like a half-time break to figure out to do something different, but now they at least have another tool. Uh, in their toolbox, you're gonna see them pushing from main here. They've come in lower, lower. Now they're gonna lead with Sizer and Great. Immediately goes and goes down. Plucked out of there with a rocket from Great. The sentry goes down. They're stacking the point. There's players behind, but none of them can get there in time to block. And straight hooks, straight forward there, man. Changed it up on middle and just steamrolled their way to last. Yeah, they definitely, uh, I think they've identified Bedonsky's kind of the key to these mid-fights. And going choke, you know, they recognize that Bedonsky goes, uh, or shuts off their big door, they can't do much. Bedonsky, though, now recognizing that Street Hoops are trying to roll out the choke now, and he completely seals them off, but the soldiers are able to sneak out. We do have a lot of frags being exchanged, but Kozen has gone down for Elevate. The health is on the site. The street hoops is Ninja Nick gonna be able to heal up his players. So many people in the deep red here. 79 health on Deadbolt. He gets arrowed. Oh my god, is he gonna live? No, he doesn't get the kill. Ninja Nick manages to get away. Paragon in tow, but that's another mid fight win for Elevate. So Bedonsky just recognizes he's like, okay, uh, they're not going big door, so I'm gonna roll out my big door and just shoot their choke. So at this point, it's a game of, uh, you know, 50 50. You flip a coin. If he guesses right, you know. They already win mid. If he guesses wrong, you know you have a 50-50 chance. So it's more like 75-25 here, head. Yeah, it is a total gamble because like if you uh, wait to see what your opponent is doing first, you lose position. Like if you, if you aren't going uh, as fast as you possibly could, uh, there is action going on on middle. Though. Mila decimate Alpha all dead right now. Grape has jumped in. He's now coming up to combine with Ash. They're putting pressure on Durando. He doesn't realize that his medic has just sold him down the river. He's gonna be left to die there as they back out and regroup. Advantage here for Ninja Nick. He's sitting with that full charge and there's about 10 seconds for him to push here. Desperate They're trying to... sniping it forward. Uh oh. <laughs> A voice tells me that Decimate sniping it forward. Oh, but Alpha's actually gonna be the one to kill off Grape there. And that one frag is gonna send these guys from Street Hoops packing. A decimate has switched back to scout uber Shreda on oh, mid -tier. Brown! Oh. Big Brown is- oh my god! Big Brown just kinda, you know, got behind him and he's like, here's two shots for you, two shots for you, and two shots for you. And all of a sudden, Elevate's like, where the hell is my team? Bedonski, I mean, he drops Big Brown with his big B-Dong, but... They're, they're gonna have to get out of dodge there, Ed. Yeah, he's uh, fairly liberal with the use of that B-Dong. Uh, whacking people all over the map, but... The brown bear indeed, turning heads and keeping his team in the round. They're going to retake 
uh, four and start putting pressure on him. Mail is very far forward up top. He's going to grab the kit and it looks like he wants to... He's thinking about going in for the bomb there. He could have had it... His shot onto Ninja Nick, but he's going to regroup with his team on last, realizing that Decimate is saying they don't want to leave themselves too short-handed to defend last. Decimate's going to get back on the field right now. It's Cookie Cutter for Street Hoops. They don't have their charge just yet, but it will be Uber versus Uber, but Alpha's going to snipe here on defense. Yeah, Alpha sniping in the river, manages to take down Paragon. I believe Paragon probably going to go sniper here, but Rando trying to push out here. He's going to catch a soldier in lobby, maybe. Sizer goes down as well, that's two picks, but Deadbolt just kind of later is Rando. Are they still going to push? Yeah, Mela going for the high bomb here. Can, Bidons, er, can Deadbolt hit more pipes? 47 health, he gets arrowed. No, this is going to be a nice push out from Elevate there. Yeah, all onto Alpha again, those two picks that just uh, allowed his team to commit heavily there. Uh, but look at 20B, they're just stuffed back into their hole there. They didn't even have time to find position on middle. They played around Chuck and as such forfeited their opportunity to go in and contest. They're going to wait for the full complement of players. It's six on six, but it's still Uber versus Uber here. Uh, as it stands right now, it's 3-1 in favour of Elevate. We're in the second half here. There's plenty of time to play, so both teams uh, wisely taking a moment to catch their breath, figure out exactly what they want to do. Paragon dicing with death there. Big Door is going to return to get buffed up by his medic. But uh, any team that chooses to sort of switch it up here might be finding frags. Alpha's creeping forward towards Choke with that fully charged shot. He's looking for somebody to just step through that tiny gap. Grape is beating out the shot there. Alpha doesn't connect. But they at least know there's a sniper here. And I'm happy to take this push blank. Like, I know there's a sniper close to Choke. That's at least <laughs> one other guy I can uh, force the multi on. But Alpha's actually going to headshot Grape. So, you know, cancel that one. Yeah, Grape's Grape just kind of got squashed there, but uh, Alpha now peeking on the big door, taking shots on the scout. We do have an Uber exchange coming out, Rando here with the solo, trying to get up top behind. Nah, Ash is going to shut him down. We kind of have a 5-on-5 five five here. Mela is stuck behind, though, it's fighting the scout one-on-one. -on -one. The scout's being really slippery. Nine health on Paragon. Mela gets the kill. Sizer and Ninja Nick go down as well. Decimate, it's all on you. Can you hit the shots here? Finish the push off. Deadbolt, 60 health, manages to kill Cousin though, so Decimate no. not hitting the shots in time, but with this many picks, are the spawns going to come up in time? I believe Elevate is people coming to last. Alpha, trying to run there on his little Aussie legs as Sniper, he's going to get the cap on last. Are they going to block it, the scouts are there? Oh my god. Mela shoot the ground, the ground is everywhere. Rocket Genius, <laughs> just hit the floor, there you go. Get another round, so it's a 4-1 half. Oh yeah. That was actually well played from Elevate there. Nice control in their push forward. Uh, they didn't really overcommit from their uber charge, so Rando did get picked off when he jumped up, but they just managed to bully them back from Choke. Obviously that pick from Alpha helped when Great went down very early, but we're on to another mid fight here, and uh, they are rolling out from Choke again from the street hit side. Ash has gone lower, but Great is going to jump in, but he doesn't realize he's alone. He's giving them the one versus four there, and they've taken it gladly. Uh, now Ash is just sitting up on the point here trying to spam forward but he's getting focused down heavily as Alpha runs into Ninja Nick, puts the hurt on him, he's gone down as low as 40 but Sizer comes in from the f- Guess the claws sunk in to- Whoa, goes in there and uh, finds that medic pick to swallow my tongue a little bit blank. Yeah, you know, yeah. I was gonna ask, I was like, yeah okay there Ed, so as Mela <laughs> finds Ash, no idea what Ash is doing there, and a little ring around the rosy. uh I think he thought he was on, you know, his team side of the map. He's like, wait a second, where am I? And Mela's like, well, okay. I'll send you back to that respawn. Here's how it stands right now. We see five players, four players from Street Hoops moving their way through Big Door. They've got their Uber charge, but they've popped it off instantly. Alpha's above them on the balcony, and Mela's hiding around their elbow as well. Do they realize that uh, they're walking into a trap potentially here? They're going to start capping the point. Mila now emerges from the elbow. They have no idea he's here. He's just going to walk forward slowly but surely. He's not giving in the way he decides to jump. He's going to try and time those rockets but can't land the second one. Oh, and nobody was there to help him either. No follow-up damage from the team because Alpha had died maybe. Alpha, Alpha died a little bit too early. And Grape's going to use that opportunity to go in and, and just try and... Uh, Abuse that man advantage, he and Deadbolt go forward, but both die instantly. And that attempt at pressure 
It didn't work out from Cozen's walking forward into lobby alone. Sizer's hiding down below. Sizer in lower lower right now. He he's gonna be going last, and it's only Mela there. Decimate's gonna spawn in five seconds. Uh, Sizer could turn around and just kill Cozen if he wanted to, but he's gonna make this play. He's oh, got a two on one here. Brown, there's a soldier there, and a scout. Brown Bear is not gonna oh, get he's the back cat, but he's crushing him. Oh my God, he Big can't... Brown! Oh, Mela hits the rocket. Brown Town, I mean, kind of keeping street hoops in this game here. If he had gotten that frag, we have a really, really early pop coming out here for Elevate. Much later pop for street hoops. This is going to go really, really poorly here for um, for Elevate. Rando's going to go down. Alpha's down. Decimate just respawned. Yeah, Bedonski and Kozen are going to be getting out the lobby. This should be a free two for street hoops. I'd like to see him kind of take pressure in lobby as well with all these picks. As Mela goes down up top by Ash, so that is a lot of picks. They should be pushing in the lobby. Ash fighting a buff scout up top. Decimate on 30 health. Can anybody convert? He's being chased right now by a scout. Sizer gets the frag. Big Brown. Is he going to get another? No, he's going to back out, so a lot of scrappy fighting here, Ad. Alpha on the sniper, he uh, was watching Riverside, now he rotates and turns his sights onto the lobby there. He will find Paragon, who, who was also sniping. And uh, now we see Mila moving forward with that pyro aggression. Oh my god, He's... size 14 alpha of Rando. I don't know if he saw that, but Alpha walked up and body shot him lower. And then Rando caught him as well, and he almost killed Rando as well, but... uh. So we have like a one-for-one -one trade there. Both teams about to have their Uber, but uh, what do you think is going to happen here, Ed? I am fully expecting Street Hoops to just walk in here and drop Kozen. He's not even going to get a chance to pop. You know why? Because I'm a 20 believer. The 20 believe. All right, well, we do have the Alpha Sniper class coming out as he's uh, watching the lower entrance here. Sees a scout crossover. Doesn't elect to take the shot. He's going to be peeking that riverside. He's uh, he's had some luck there previously, but waiting for his big old buff. Just looking at all these guys from Street Hips uh, standing on the stairs here looking for their heels. It's the team huddle, you know, you're trying to decide what to do, everybody's standing around and sometimes this can be the best opportunity for a, a rumor to step out and catch them off guard, but uh, they have had their little business meeting there, they're going to decide what the best course of action is here. They've consulted the shareholders, they're ready to go, but <laughs> uh-oh. Sell, sell, sell! Alpha has just uh, taken the window out of their seals there with a headshot onto Grape, and the rest of his team are now moving forward. Bodonski's controlling that riverside as the rest of the uh, Elevate combo move out through the big door. They've actually been forced here. Rando will kill off Sizer. The counter river comes in. The health isn't great for a lot of those players on Elevate. If we see a, a committal here, if Street Hips try and go deep, they can find a lot of frags and they've got four players down right now on the Elevate side. Only Bodonski and Kozen alive and they're under pressure on last from Grape. He's jumped up onto the ring. He's causing a great distraction here. Paragon's going to play for the point. And they will steal another round here. I knew it was going to happen anyway. You know what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> yeah, we, we got ourselves a 4-2 game here, but uh, still, Elevate with a pretty pretty sizable lead here. And with how the mid-fights are going, I really feel like Street Hoops needs to win every mid-fight if they want to have a chance at winning this game. As uh, I'm watching kind of the melee cam here, as he already eats an early sticky. Not really able to do much, but Paragon goes down really early. This may be the caster's jinx, but Kozen goes down early. Ninja Nick dropping really low in the choke. Bedonski, though, gets a 2k. Bedonski and Decimate versus the three. Can they do it? No, Decimate kind of getting shut down there. Bedonski versus the world. He's done it so far, but nope, it's not enough. Big Brown secures the frag with a nice hat trick, admit. Yeah, solid work from Sizer again there. It's a sort of uh, face pamming when I saw. Uh, Grape and Ash, like both standing in the corner, catching that same pipe uh, from Bodonski. It was a double Bodonsk, but uh, they did manage to clean up. Thankfully, Sizer, the brown bear, doing huge work. <laughs> Dyson with death there, a big door, somehow survives. And uh, his team have a big window of time here to try and make something happen. Rando's going to peek at Choke and sees Ash there, but meanwhile, the main attack is coming in from big door, Street Hoops. Working their way forward, there are f five stickies on that lower door. Anyone who opens it will find out pretty quickly, but have managed to work their way in here. They've isolated Rando behind the tank. He's trying to jump out, but Alpha with a headshot from up top. He's going to find Deadbolt. Mela onto Sizer as well. Paragon 
will kill off Rando and the Uber comes in. The counter pop as well. It's four on four here, but Alpha is only really effective within that sniper range and <laughs> Grape is gonna get cratered there, trying to come around to meet his medic on choke. Grape so, uh... status squashed. Air shots? <laughs> oh, air shots. MTE right here. We have the Alpha sniper as he hey! just evaporates Ninja Nick. Oh man. So much for being a ninja, he vanished there, but uh, no air shot from Ash here, he's probably gonna go down, Alpha just doing work on that sniper, takes down the big ground, back cap by Ash, I am, um, this is kind of a futile attempt, although, is anybody gonna come back to stop him? There we go, he's got a soldier, we got some more MGE going on, oh my god, gunboats, they're legal. Oh, Grapes in from the drop down here, he's put pressure onto Bodonsky, but the reinforcements have come in. Uh, <laughs> Deadbolt's gonna run into a random a brick wall there. Ninja Nick is running for his dear life here. He's about to make it to the roller door, but Badonski's already coming in lower, lower. Pre fires the stick, he catches that medic, and a late death from Ninja Nick means he's not gonna be back on the field for another 10 seconds. His team are gonna be without heals here, and it could just be the immediate push coming in from Kozen and company. They're already in the lobby here. They're ready to go. They're raring to go, man. They, they wanna seal this one out. They're looking for that last round. They're on match point here, ready to progress. But Paragon with the body shot onto Alpha and they, they stop to think about it. Here comes the Uber straight in from me and pumping out that damage. But Dunsky looking for anyone but then realizes the point is wide open. Decimate gets flashed under. Deadbolt's trying to give him the runaround. He's doing his best. They managed to run that Uber out. Only Rando remains alive and somehow that Uber proved to be totally ineffective. They didn't know who to go for. The focus fire just wasn't there. They, they were caught in two mines. They went for the medic. Then they went for the point and the demo man and just got caught with their pants down blank. Man, never want to be caught without your pants, Ed. It's, uh, it's a little inappropriate and uh, probably not very warm this time of year. But yeah, 20B street hoops, you know, still believing. They hold on to another round as we have yeah, the Elevate last push being botched once again with full Uber. And, well, they were down Alpha and the Alpha Sniper, which uh, it got him the advantage. But then, you know, once again, it's that whole, if you're hitting shots, it's good. But pushing, you're just, you're, you're an SMG maybe? Uh, I don't know. What do you want to call it? Yeah, it's the Sniper, the, the gift and the curse. Uh, Grapes come in from the drop down here with Ninja Nick. Uh, he's trying to create the space for his team to come in. He's 50 health in the air, ends up on the ledge. Ninja Nick's on the floor, he's going up against Decimate. Doesn't want to take that fight, he's going to pop off his Uber charge. But they've already around, found four frags. They're going to be able to take middle as well, but they don't even want it yet. They're going to steamroll forward here. They want to make sure they can at least force Kozen. They have done that, but... There are five stickies on that spawn door. Is anyone going to call it? Deadbolt gets it. <laughs> Dead onto Alpha. No one paying attention there. And uh, even though they didn't get that medic pick, they got the force and they've taken three and they're in a good position to come in here. The setup from the uh, Elevate is not good. Rando's trapped at the tank here and he's giving his position away. Meal is turning a lot of attention here. Rando's looking to focus down Paragon, but the heals are on him from Ninja Nick and they are good. He's managed to survive that. Both soldiers have gone. Decimate's going to go down as well and Elevate with a bit of a brain fart here, man. They just uh, keep making bad decisions. Uh, maybe getting outplayed a little bit as well. What can you do in this situation, I guess? I feel like, you know, they're overestimating how much they're winning by and just taking these really, really greedy fights and they're being punished for it. Now we have full uber advantage for Ninja Nick. He's going to have to pop really early, but these are going to be two quick soldier frags. There should be. Rando should be going down soon. We have a lot of people just hiding in spawn. Can the Badonski save the last push? It's all eyes are on him. Nope, Budonski goes down. It's up to Alpha and Kozen. Kozen's running around with the saw. We have a crazy battle here, but finally, Street Hoops get the push. So we have a 4-3 game. So once again, it's coming down to the wire here, Ed. Oh, baby. Yeah, Brian Barry didn't even care about that fight. He was like, check me it. I'm on your point. He's going to take that round for his team. And we're going to go to another interesting mid fight but it's this time it's Deadbolt who's decided that he's, or he's coming from choke game but he's a little bit faster than Badonski his first sticky was already there by the time Badonski was walking out and it seems like uh, Elevate have been stuck back a little bit but they're more than happy to play from that position they've waited for the moment they pounce and they've come in here and again it's only Ninja Nick who remains alive and he's got that late spawn yet again but it worked out well for them last round so you know maybe this is all part of the plan yeah, we got some mind games here as Ash. A little, uh, a little, a little frustrated there with uh, the counter jumping antics. Um, 
That uh, gives me a throwback to the team of Fully Torqued, if anybody remembers. I used to remember their gully wash strat was to wait for me in Memphis to jump and then land on our head. So, uh, what I eventually started doing at gully mid was just literally walking under the point. So, as you can see, there's a lot of mind games going on in these uh, invite mids. As we do have a bit of a push, we have Mela and Alpha in the water. They have been spotted out. Are they going to get these frags here? Both of them dropping low. Mela goes down. Alpha's standing on the point, drawing people to point. Elevate. Oh! Gonna sneak the cap off of those two picks, and we get the 5-3 here. I think at the end of the day, you know, that early momentum from Badonski and just the pressure overall, the mid-fights going their way, it was just a little bit too much for uh, Street Hoops to handle. But uh, for all you 20 believers out there, you know, the Land Dream <laughs> isn't dead yet. They're simply in the lower bracket for now. It's true. Don't give up, uh... Have faith. But yeah, that last round was impressive from Elevate. They just uh, continued, like, there was no mercy shown there. They gave them no quarter. They just went straight on to last. They didn't let them to set up at all. And uh, even though I fully believed it was going to be a comeback, it wasn't to be. Uh, everybody's leaving the server. And I guess we'll take a quick look at the logs before we sort of stroke our chins here and decide, hmm, what will we do next? Yeah, uh, bring up that good old ESCA stats page. There is going to be uh, another game coming up soon enough. I don't have the exact time, but we'll be going to a quick break after we uh, wrap up our final thoughts on this game. But it will be Classic Mix-Up versus Froyo Tech, that other upper round, upper bracket round one game. And that will be a real doozy. That's second versus third. The ultimate uh, grudge match there. Yeah, we kind of had the classic mix-up, you know, the classic matchup, if you will. <laughs> mix-up versus Froyo, whatever Banny team, the good old Planny, er, Planny. Yeah, we could call it that, the Planny <laughs> rivalry, there you go. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, yeah, that makes absolute sense. So I'm looking at these stats here, and well, um, the Dong Man did 424 DDM that game, uh, with the next highest being his uh, not even his pocket, actually, his Romer, Big Mobla at 350. So, the Dong Man, you know, just flexing it, and uh, Street Hoops kind of crumbling, you know? One man was, was holding Street Hoops, you know, up on his shoulders like Atlas. It was the Brown Bear putting out 33 frags there. Uh, top fragging on the server across uh, both halves. Pretty impressive. So, uh, he's definitely showing up for LAN. I hope uh, the rest of his team can over the course of the tournament, but we won't be seeing them until the next round. Uh, we're going to go to a little break here. It's been uh, a sweaty two maps. I think I deserved a little bit of a breather here, you know. Got to extract my tongue from my throat. Uh, so I'm throwing it to Truck Truck to play us some incredible ads. There's a legendary BenQ one there, you know, that you guys are all waiting for on Twitch chat.